Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for being here with me and it's my great honor to be here today uh, to share with you um, our vision and uh, our experience uh, with our Chinese uh, users, uh, especially we, ha we have seen a lot of them traveling, uh, traveling around the world. Uh, my name is Yana. I'm uh, from uh, Alipay uh, EMEA team. So today, um, the main topic is really to understand uh, the, the status um, and especially the, the challenges of those Chinese customers who travel uh, overseas and what are the solution and, and uh, proposals for them. So first of all, the Chinese tourism market. Um, good news is that this market is doing very well and is expanding very fast. So um, I don't have the latest data for last year yet, for 2016, but according to the data in 2015, uh, we have seen more than 120 million Chinese customer, Chinese uh, tourists traveling outside China, and uh, we have, and uh, the pattern we have seen is that uh, they they do more and more long term or long distance traveling uh, because the as we can all uh, imagine or understand that their premium or first destination will be some somewhere close to China like Japan and Korea Southeast Asia, but those market is now becoming more and more quite mature, a bit full, if you like. So we have seen more uh, customers, more Chinese traveling to Europe, to US, to uh, you know, even Africa and different long distance uh, uh, countries. Um, and the, the premium activity they do when they travel abroad, as I believe most of, most of you know, are not museums, but shopping. And thus, we're not surprised to see that they have spent a lot of money um, uh, abroad. And Europe is definitely, in Europe, this, this is uh, even uh, more uh, obvious uh, because uh, so many beloved brands uh, for Chinese, they are originated from, from Europe. And some trends we have seen uh, for Chinese traveling abroad. Um, for example, the uh, travel uh, more frequent and for longer distance, uh, they like the uh, originality um, of the of the area. They like to try the authentic uh, experience, and they like to rather than low price, uh, they like to spend their money on uh, on uh, the things that they think is is worthwhile. Uh, so, which means price is becoming a less sensitive factor. But, um, but spending the right money on the right thing is more important for them. So if you look at this, this all point to one key word, which is local. Uh, they want to try local food, they want to buy local products, they want to have local experience. But today they have a lot of uh, challenges to become a local or travel like a local. What are the reasons? Um, I would say this is actually especially particular uh, for France maybe. First of all is security. Um, I'm not talking about terrorism here, uh, which I, I don't think we can do much uh, here. And, but we are talking about something more particular for Chinese tourists um, on security uh, uh, issue, which is caused by cash. So it's not, it's, we, see, we see on the news from time to time that Chinese individuals or even group, groups are attacked um, um, in different countries um, when they travel because they are known for carrying a lot of cash when they travel. Uh, when they travel. So this is uh, one thing how we can deal with it. And the answer, of course, is cashless. And second is convenience. And convenience really means many things together, uh, including the language, including uh, their habit. Of course, they come to uh, to, to Europe to experience a different culture and architecture, every different things. But if their habit or if their behavior is very different uh, from local, and of course they won't feel comfortable, they don't know the local language, they don't know what is what, uh, they, they, they cannot be connected, for example, they cannot be uh, live on their mobile like what they do in China, and they cannot enjoy the, the similar lifestyle and convenience. So how can we deal with this? And then third, also very important is information. Um, to, 
today for Chinese tourists. So, uh, especially for France, I would say actually, uh, we have seen that group uh, travelers has reduced a lot. According to, uh, I think it's French uh, Tourism Administration, according to their report today, already around 50% of the Chinese tourists in France, they are individuals. And this number is increasing very fast. Um, for example, during the uh, really difficult time uh, when there was, uh, you know, uh, terrorism issues, um, there was a huge decrease on the group booking to France. But individuals still not even decreased, still increased. So that is really the a key f feature we have seen: how to better serve those individuals, and who are they? First of all, definitely they are, I would say, online population or digital population in China. Younger age uh, like to travel. And second, when they travel, they normally, what can they do? They, they don't want to come and doesn't know what is what. They normally do some homework before they come on the trains, food, uh, hotels, everything. But the key problem is today, if you check online in China, first of all, Google is not allowed in China. And uh, you, you have only Baidu, uh, which is basically Baidu and 360, actually, we have here. <laughs> so uh, we, we have only limit uh, our local uh, search engine, and they have very limited information from uh, some travel agencies or from those who have traveled in, in, in Europe. And they, they normally go to similar places. As you, can, you may uh, find out that in some restaurant, if they, they can suddenly become uh, popular for Chinese, or if one is popular for, for Chinese, you, you see, normally see a lot of Chinese, and then in just neighborhood, in a restaurant, similar food or whatever, you don't see Chinese at all. So the reason is because the exposure in China, especially for online exposure, and there are only a handful of limited information there. That's why everyone is doing the same thing, going to the same place, which is not interesting at all, which is far away from being local. So that is something also we need to tackle. We need to make them understand what is going on locally in Europe and what they can enjoy the best out from their trip. Um, so before um, I talk about what, what, what we are doing and what we like to build and to solve all those issues for our users, um, i like to first of all uh, introduce a little bit about Alipay uh, together with Alibaba Group who was in the panel just now, Sebastian. And uh, so you better understand who, uh, who we are and where we're from, why we're doing what we do and what we want to do. So, right, Alipay. Alipay today is um, a brand um, or a company in the Ant Financial um, Group, uh, which was established by Alibaba Group uh, more than three years ago. Um, so Alipay was... Uh, is the biggest brand in Ant Financial Group with the longest history there. Alipay was established by Alibaba um, uh, back uh, in the year 2004 to solve the issue of online payment or digital payment, um, as well as the trust between the sellers and buyers on Alibaba um, e-commerce platforms. So, and then we started as a payment or trusted third party and we evolved all the way to a lifestyle today with all the uh, added value, additional functions that allow our users to enjoy or benefit um, their everyday life easier, which is another, actually one of the key reasons for why our users, well, why Chinese are on their mobile so much, because there's so much they can do, so much they can benefit. And when we talk about, and until today, Alipay is still the uh, the, the payment processor for the entire Alibaba group, uh, both in China and globally. So if you look at the, the payment volume or processing volume, Alipay is definitely the biggest payment company in the world today. And uh, Alibaba also, along all those years, has also created many different brands or, or products um, um, to provide more beneficial uh, financial services to our users. For example, uh, the biggest uh, credit scoring, uh, scoring system in China, the Sesame uh, Credit, so the Sesame and Alibaba, you see, <laughs> those related names, and the online banking, for example. So all those brands were then separated from the group and regrouped into Ant Financial. You can find most of those uh, 
most of those brands are actually inside Ali, Alipay uh, mobile application, which is actively used by more than 450 million of Chinese um, today, and among which more than 100 million travels all, all over the world. And when we talk about Alibaba Group, of course, we cannot, um, we, we cannot skip the topic of e-commerce, as Alibaba is definitely the e-commerce giant. Um, and then here, what I like to uh, very quickly on the on the e-commerce this part is that Alipay is definitely uh, first of all Alipay is uh, was the first on online payment and is now the definitely the dominant uh, leading uh, payment method uh, for Chinese customers. And if you like to expand uh, your business to China via e-commerce. There are two ways basically you can, you can do, and Alibaba can, can, can help greatly. First of all is you can open your shop on Tmall, which is the biggest uh, shopping uh, uh, destination in China. China is, is a heavy platform uh, um, uh, country for e-commerce. So, so that's one side on Tmall. On the other side is that you can have your own uh, website, um, and we have uh, our Alibaba Cloud, which is uh, the, uh, the, the, the IT infrastructure uh, um, body for the Alibaba Group. So they can help you to quickly um, build a stable website and can either quickly access to China or you can build it inside China. So there are many things um, um, you can do for the e-commerce side. And today we have uh, our colleagues from Alibaba Group. If you'd like to know more on this, definitely uh, after you're welcome to, to reach us after the talk. Um, right, and then uh, come back to Alipay. Um, just now I mentioned the lifestyle. So I'm going to show you a very quick video uh, showing how Chinese um, um, live on mobile and how we enable this lifestyle. And this is, a, this is not a dream we want to realize. This is really how our 450 million users live every day. And you can understand how they live every day and you can imagine the challenges were inconvenience when they travel abroad, when they don't have this. So this is where we found, and this is something we want to build um, abroad. Alipay is operated by Ant Financial of China, one of the world's largest fintech companies. As the name suggests, Alipay is a way to pay for goods and services online. But now it's more than that. It's a global lifestyle super app. It is used by more than 5% of the world's population. Amy and Dayu are going shopping. They use Show Show to find nearby merchants and special offers. Amy shows her unique Alipay code and has it scanned. Done. More than 60% of the transactions processed by Alipay are conducted on mobile devices. Alipay is helping businesses large and small to connect to a cashless world and the massive number of Alipay users. Dayu has just enjoyed an exclusive 5% discount. Across the city, Amy's mother is a keen investor. Yuabao is an online wealth management product which offers users higher returns on their current account balance. Ant Fortune is a comprehensive wealth management platform that allows users to manage their finances using an array of products, no matter how small their investments are. With stock, she can monitor her position anywhere at any time. Travel is another key function offered by Alipay. Users with a higher Juma credit score can book a hotel without a deposit. Actually, Juma Credit offers individual credit filing and scoring services in China. Big World shares overseas merchants' information and special offers. And Ali Trip offers travel packages. More and more merchants across China and around the world are accepting Alipay. Kobe allows users to look for local merchants and restaurants, place orders and write reviews. Their friends split the bill with Go Dutch. It's an evolution of how people interact with each other about money. Now it's time for Amy and Dayu to go to the airport. Millions of taxis accept Alipay across China and overseas. There are so many other functions to explore, from booking movie tickets or food deliveries to paying utilities, transferring money on the go, and many more. 
Alipay is the global lifestyle super app. Um, yeah, so as you have seen, uh, this is how our users live in China. And, uh, and all you have seen, they are in this one little application called Alipay. And Alipay today is definitely one of the top uh, downloaded and used mobile applications in China because of all those convenience benefits that we provide to our users. So what we want to do, we want them to enjoy the same when they travel. We, um, so, so the key here is not only about payment, it's definitely end-to-end -end user experience before the trip, during the trip, after the trip, how they can uh, better understand the local uh, uh, region where they are going to, how they can better engage with the merchants or with different uh, uh, parties that they want to experience. So uh, later I'll go to details uh, about what we are building. And uh, regarding the market landscape, actually, I'd like to share with you is, uh, a, uh, what Financial Times uh, did last year. It's actually just several months ago. Um, they did a survey with uh, a thousand urban um, users and, and check with them what are the most frequent used pay method in their life. And we were really happy to see that Alipay has become number one preferred payment method, surpassed cash and cars and all the other payment methods in China. This is e-commerce and in-store all together because we do have also very strong in-store uh, payment proposition. Um, so here, I know that I'm sure in our event we've been talking about WeChat. Um, quite a lot, and WeChat, I, I'm sure many of you uh, know that WeChat also have uh, their own payment called WeChat payment, and WeChat payment, um, as you can see here, actually it is on, it's below the uh, debit card, so on the fifth position basically, and then uh, I think one of the key reasons is because the, the use case is still kind of limited, uh, the, it's mainly used for uh, small or micro payment, um, in China, in store, while for online there's not much, and then maybe uh, they're also quite popular for small amount of P2P transfer, known as the Chinese uh, red envelope or red pack during the festivals. Um, so, so after all, um, Alipay is still the most preferred pay method and most used. So right, now comes to the point. Uh, what we want to do in Europe and what we have already and where we're going. Um, here shows what we want to build. Definitely a rich, open, and healthy ecosystem um, to enable all the functionalities and benefits that we're building for our uh, users. So first of all, what we're building or what we have today already is that we are bringing this lifestyle um, with our users in their trips and here you can see this kind of a circle, end-to-end -end circle. Um, before the trip, we were already, according to our own data, our data uh, connected with Alibaba Group, for example, AliTrip, the, the second or third biggest online travel agency in China, that we understand who is coming to where, and then we can already uh, um, um, provide the relevant information. And plus, we, have, we are uh, um, um, expanding the coverage of the marketing platform that is already popular in China. It's called Kobe in China, and abroad we call Discovery. It's like trip advisor type of thing. And just now you saw on the video, our user can easily find like restaurants near them. So that is from this marketing platform. And we are bringing them, we, we have brought them already abroad. For example, today is already live in Paris. So they can already check on this platform uh, what, is, uh, what is going on in Paris, uh, what are the merchants, and then if they have any activities, any coupon or gifting, different kind of campaigns or not. So they can prepare their trip. And then once they departed for their trip, we will then engage, uh, uh, engage those customers and then uh, promote the most relevant information to them. 
Um, for example, when they land in, in Paris, we would understand immediately, and we would then push a message to them saying, welcome to Paris. Um, we've seen that you, you like uh, luxury brands, or you have, and do you know that Louis, Louis Vuitton is having this uh, promotion, or Pantone, for example, who is already enabled with Alipay today. So by doing this, we actually uh, um, help the merchants to reach out to the users actively and uh, to share small data with you. Uh, I cannot disclose name, but with uh, one of our merchants uh, in UK who, is, who has already Alipay enabled, um, we have seen more than 15%, uh, between 15 to 20% of uh, conversion rate of this push message, so, which is extremely high, which means uh, 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 among 100 people who receive this push message, Almost 20 of them clicked it and then landed on the merchant's page inside Alipay. So this is really uh, powerful and b that means how relevant or how attractive this information is for our users. And then, so the purpose, as you can understand here, is really to let our users understand best the local situation and kind of uh, 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 attract them to the stores and encourage them to, to purchase more because uh, they have you know, uh, uh, more information and uh, like coupons or gifting ongoing. And during the payment, and for the payment part, of course, we allow them to pay um, with Alipay, simply one QR code scanning, uh, as you saw on the video, easy and fast, with the best uh, foreign exchange rate. Uh, today on the market, which means users actually spend less money when they pay with Alipay. And once the payment is completed, we then have all different kind of tools to engage with user again. For example, we give the instant uh, payment successful page, which is on their mobile, and there there can be cross sales, uh, where there can be a message or a banner for the, the, the uh, online purchase, saying that without traveling all the way to, to Paris, you can enjoy the same products when you're back to China. So all this kind of engagement with our users. And then after the trip, uh, yeah, and also, also after the payment, we also have uh, such kind of a function that allow direct engagement uh, of merchants with our user. For example, once a user pays, so very similar to WeChat, the merchant can also open a uh, live account, we, we call it public account in Alipay because it, it is a, uh, also a social media platform. And once the payment is done, then the user is automatically uh, follow is, will automatically follow this uh, merchant Alipay public account, uh, where then the merchant can directly engage with the user for the continuous uh, 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 campaign. So all this is really, I mean, uh, f for the after trip management, all this is the end-to-end -end engagement marketing plus payment. Uh, a solution or experience we are building for uh, our users and they already enjoy this with many of our uh, merchants and partners today, um, like Pantone, for example, and like Paris Airport. Um, and so all those is realized by this small mobile application. It's a super app and you can just now, what I mentioned, different functions and different channels to engage with the users, they are all in different locations um, of, the, of the, uh, 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 the app. And uh, we also um, localize the app for our uh, users. We understand where they are. For example, this is in London. This, this is me, and I, I opened it in London. And here you can see like the overseas data package that is especially for overseas travelers. And you can see, for example, the, 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 the credit, um, which is uh, um, the uh, benefit we we'll provide to overseas travelers. For example, we provide more than 30,000 yuan, which is around 4,000 euros extra Alipay credit to those who travel abroad. And also we have the welcome to London um, content um, um, with uh, instant tax refund functionalities with uh, what is going on locally, what are the, the, the local offers and, and, and merchants, as well as uh, the discovery channel, as you can see here. So everything is really um, embedded, uh, same as in China, in this app, and we want them to continue their habit as in China, and everything is in, in Chinese, of course. And to build this, 
um, ecosystem, of course, is not only Alipay. We need a lot of local partners. Uh, we need the local banks um, to, 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 uh, for the settlement for merchants. We need the local, uh, today we already have BNP and Bank, Bank Adele uh, uh, available with Alipay services, and also different technical enablers, as well as marketing uh, partners to provide uh, those um, um, functions or campaigns for our merchants. And these are some of our references today in Europe for uh, this in-store um, experience. And of course, uh, I'm here to, to invite uh, more um, of you, merchants, uh, payment companies, uh, or gateway company or POS, uh, marketing, whatever, that you think you can contribute to this ecosystem. Uh, really welcome and hope to see you join us soon. Thank you.